What's good, everybody? This is Takedown Tuesday, and of course, it's a rainy day. So, yes, we're going to talk. It's a little time. Should I wear my new glasses? No. I'm keeping it real. Because when I have issues, especially when idiots come to my face. Oh, I'm sorry. Thought I was talking to my bestie there. Hi, everybody. This is your girl, Bella J. And we're going to talk about penises today. Yes, I had to bring it to light. There's a problem in the penis realm. It is. This guy, OMG, he has a decrepit looking penis. I talked about him before. I just don't know what video. But when I saw it, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do this. And he felt so bad. You know, I, I felt bad for wasting his time, but I should have gotten a good look at it before, you know, pre qualify him to go down. I'm just saying. Moo. Oh, gosh. OMG, it is, yeah, it is crazy. So let's draw the penis, okay, shall we? And I wanted to welcome my new subbies and welcome back my lovelies and guppies. How you doing? It is a rainy Tuesday in New York and trust and believe my brain is in the gutter and I appreciate that, you know? So I'm going to draw the this, 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 this decrepit looking penis, okay? From what I remembered it, you know, you know, I, and he had pretty eyes. He was kind of light-skinned, not quite albino, you know, that white, black, but, you know, he was a black man. So, we're going to say that his shit looked like this, you know, and it was kind of, kind of like a mushroom cap type of thing. That's not the penis I like, and it just, it would have helped if he was just a little bit more thicker, then I wouldn't mind. But he was the middle piece. You see that middle shit? No. We don't do decrepit looking penises here, okay? That's like a guy being, you know, nice and stuff. And he's got a bush and he's got a peanut. Like a, like a, like that. Like a nubbin. Who does that? Okay, let's not go. Let's not go there because us women, we have sometimes big lips. We have a clit that's so big you could suck on it like a dick. <laughs> I know. I know I'm raw. What the hell is wrong with me? This is what happens when you haven't gotten laid. Okay, fine. I got laid on the 19th, okay? The day I met Nigel Barker, I went to my ex's house, the one who threatened me, and he and we got and I got laid. I did. And it still wasn't all that. He's got an elephant trunk dick. So let me let me show you. It hurts too. So we're gonna turn the page. So he's a big guy. But he has where it's thick and like a trunk. Kind of like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's a whole lot of skin. So his head is somewhere here. That's his head. Okay. And this is all this fucking foreskin. Okay, that's a cloak and dagger. An extremely covered dick. Moms, uh, you know, I have to let y'all know, when you have little boys and you see, I understand some people just don't want to get their kids circumcised, but my my ex will never get head from me. No man will ever get head from me if they got that much skin covering their dick. No. 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 And then he couldn't get hard right away, so... You know, I had to exit out the room while he played with his dick to get himself aroused for me. So right then and there, you don't already got, you know, three minuses against you. Sorry about that. That's not Java. I wish it was Java to drink, not the fucking Java from the computer. Yes, my mouth is foul. But, okay, so one of my turn-ons with penises, you know, and, and beautifully decorated dicks, you know, a nice one. Oh my gosh, a good, you know, you know, he's got to have some meat, you know, he, he could be thick and he's got to have, you know, this is a nice dick. That one's nice with a little, with a little eye that just wants me to go eh, into it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that is a nice, how you doing, fool? Yes, I kissed it. Okay. That's as close I'm giving head. That's the close. 
that's as close as my lips is getting to some dick action is on this sheet of paper. I know this is so wrong, but it's Takedown Tuesday, and we got to come before I throw up my vlog that I did today on my day, as far as getting up in the morning, getting ready for work, and things of that nature. I tried a different type of vlog, but before I bring that to light later on, I had to talk about my penis issue and the lack of. I mean, gosh, let me, let me take, a, let me take a, a sip on that one. Mm. Oh, yeah. One must always hydrate. Let's talk about the head. Let's talk about dick. I expect my man's penis, any man I'm dealing with, should not have. This is head. An uncovered head, meaning you should be circumcised. If you're not circumcised, you're not getting any head game from me. It is not happening. It is disgusting, okay? And second of all, not only should you not have, an, have all that extra skin, you should really honestly be, the minute I kiss you, you should be aroused. You should be aroused by my presence. Exactly. I'm cocky like that. I'm an Aries, okay? I'm going to keep it real. Your girl is a flirt. She's a freak to an extent, okay? There's a limitation to my freakiness. And any guy that I'm going to be with, there has to be some type of attraction over there. Physical, everything. You have to be attracted to me that your manhood your nether regions is pulsating, waking up. He's like, yo, I want to get this. She wants to talk shit. I'm going to get her good. You know, I, I appreciate a man being erect for me. I want to feel him pulsating awake, oh, awake. I remember at the club recently, I took the guy to the back and I went up. I was touching him through his pants and it started waking up. It wasn't too small. It wasn't real. It was a little above average, whatever the case may be. But he allowed me to stick my hands in his pants and touch his shit. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Someone like that. Oh, and yes, I did disclose. If you needed to know, I disclosed. And I told him this is why we're not going to get together. And he respected me for that. And I have not seen him since because I refused to go hang out with the fellas at the bar and listen to them spin, spin them records or spin them math machines or whatever. But I need to go back. I need to feel the rhythms. I need to feel the vibes. I need to feel that music pumping up in me. I have to consider that because I need cab fare to come home. No, nevertheless, I don't have $10 this weekend. I have to really think about that one. Anywho, still, still, damn, when is your girl going to get some dick action? This is my session of talking shit about the penis. Hi, baby. Later. <laughs>